goes like this. It's called All of My Why Not Take All of Me. For Dino Douglas, being with friends at the Fellowship Center shelter in Kenora is one of the best parts of his day. He's been in some tough situations and tries to help others through theirs. I just give him a little moral support as in being Dino, as in, hey, everything is cool, you know. Things aren't so bad, things are good. Here I am, speaking on how living poor for five days changed me. But at first, I thought living off of $35 for five days would be easy. This challenge was presented to 12 people for the Week of Action Against Poverty. It's meant to give some insight into what it's like to have nothing. The $35 given is equal to welfare rates. For the Ontario Works program, a total monthly budget of $592 is given to a single person. This includes a maximum of $368 for shelter and $224 for literally everything else. Spend over that, and you have to get creative. Dan Jorgensen had to get his mother something for her birthday. Well, I think that, that you know, that day that I went to my mom's to help her celebrate her, her uh, pretend birthday um, was interesting because uh, I had a chance to talk to her, and, and really and truly, you know, I, I've heard a lot of her, the stories in the past, and, and I know that she lived as a child in poverty. Uh, it was during the Depression, and... Uh, you know, her parents weren't, uh, they, were, they were farming, and uh, so they had a real tough time of it. Everyone in the group felt shut in and closed off. We're lucky. It's not like we have to do this every day. Beatrice has been doing it for 25 years. Ma, I live through every day when, when I'm walking around every day. Sometimes they don't let me in, in the, and we have to go to detox or sleep in at the banks too. And although Tommy Boyle is still pretty young, he's turned to the fellowship center for his home base. It's, it's uh, you know, it's tough. I don't get the concept of money really. Um, and, and like, see if you like get an apartment, paying bills, it just all doesn't. And I've lost jobs. I've lost jobs. I've lost uh, basically every job I had. I just got a job and got laid off from it. I don't have education. Um, I don't have a driver's license. It's, uh, you know, it's tough. All your hugs. In the second part of this two-part story, we're going to take a look at how making Kenora home is working to change homelessness in an area with a 0% housing vacancy. In Kenora, I'm Shelley Bujold.